guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a craft room tour. Um, you guys get to see everything that I've been working on so far. You can see um, all of the different ways that I organize the things that I use on a daily basis. And uh, as well as all of the things that I still need to organize. So let's get right into it. So I picked these up at Ikea. I got all of the different little hooks and bobbers, everything, these belts, all of this comes from Ikea. It's called the Scatus Pegboard Collection. Um, super awesome, super versatile, actually not too badly priced. Um, the board itself was $16.99 and then each of the pieces were all really cheap as well. Each tin was like $2.00. The hooks came in a set of two for a couple bucks, or maybe it was a set of four for a couple bucks. Um, this was like four dollars. These came in a pack of two for a couple bucks. The hooks came in a pack of four for a couple bucks. The clips were in a pack of two. So I think I got the entire collection, all, all three boards, hooks, accessories, everything for about 80 bucks. So it wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Um, and in here, I keep my scissors. Let me set this down and look up a little bit. Okay, so here I keep my scissors, um, just random things that I'm working on. We'll move that. This is a tag flip that I received from one of my crafty friends that I have just hanging up. Um, I keep all of my Sharpies here with a um, color list that has all of the different colors and what they're called for me. Oops. Put that there. Um, just clips holding on to things. This is just random different kinds of markers. Here are all of my alcohol pens. So here I have some tool, I have adhesive foam rolls that I keep on these hooks and what is this like an inch, three quarters of an inch, um, half an inch and then let's move this. This is more um, happy mail that I received from a fr uh, one of my partners. Um, here I have different kinds of adhesive tapes, I have red tape. Um, regular just double sided sticky tape. I have that in one inch, half an inch, quarter of an inch, and I think even down to an eighth of an inch possibly. Nope, just down to a quarter of an inch. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, take this down all together actually for the time being. Um, let me move this. Here I have um, different, these are little micro beads, and then all of my embossing powders and glitters. So silvers and things. Um, this is my fuse pen, or my fuse tool. So I just keep that there. That's another thing I got at Ikea. Um, down below here, I keep a cork board that I can just tack whatever I need within reach. Um, over here, I have um, this holder here holds all of my washi tape. So I have um, each one of these drawers is full of different types of washi tape. I have a ridiculous amount of washi tape, more than I will probably ever ever use. Um, then I also have washi tape stacked on top. These are just some little wood containers that I picked up at Michael's one day. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, some happy mail that I received again. Alright and then this basket right here I have um, all kinds of random goodies. Um, just trims that I've been sent from different partners and swaps that I've done. I have um, 
twines and ephemera pieces. I have little junk journals. This is all pretty much just like what I call my my junk journal basket. So whenever I just need something random, something simple, like a lot of my Tim Holtz stuff sits in here because a lot of my Tim Holtz is what I use for junk journal things. I have, you know, alcohol ink dyed papers. I have napkins, um, tags, stencils. Um, this is junk journal supplies I received in a swap. So music sheets and cook pages. Just lots of just random goodies sit right here in this basket. Here is my desk where I tend to do most of my filming and where I tend to use my computer and what, um, things like that. So I will generally set my camera up in the window or um, now that I have a tripod, I will have it sitting right here and then looking down here. Um, still trying to figure out maybe a better way to do my filming and set, it, and set things up. So um, that's a work in progress. I'll get that all figured out. Okay, and then over here, my computer, um, let's see, in my desk, um, I have my hard drive, which I keep, like, all of my digital files and things on, my plates for my cuddle bag, um, random paper pads, things like that, um, post-it notes. Down here is where I have my cuddle bag. I have some composition notebooks down here, um, just scrap paper. I have my stamps.com scale, uh, some more storage things that I need to put out. Um, this rolly cart that I keep moving around, this is what I use for whatever I'm currently working on. Um, or if I'm just trying to kind of clean things up and get stuff out of the way. So I'll have different papers and things going on at top. I have inks and stamps and stickers that going on in here right now. Um, things that I've kind of just moved out of the way. Bags that I've picked up for different projects I'm getting ready to work on. And over here, I have my cart that sits right next to my desk. This has all of the stuff that I kind of reach for on a regular basis. Or stuff that I just kind of didn't know what else to do with it. I'm still in the process of figuring out where I want every little tiny thing. So until I get that figured out, um, it kind of sits in one of these drawers. So up top here, I have a ton of my Maggie Holmes stuff. So let me put it down here. So, so in these bins I have, there's some just random, some clips. This is, oops, one of the butterflies. I have a couple butterflies, I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, a card I got in a swap. Some more um, clothes pins. And then, uh, it's just a bunch of Maggie Home stuff. Um, so some Snow and Coco stickers. Um, Willow Lane thickers, Willow Lane stickers, more Willow Lane stickers, thickers, 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 <laughs> thickers, uh, thickers, stickers, um, just yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Alright, and then... In my other bin, I keep, again, Maggie Home stuff. So this is all like different kinds of ephemeras and things. So in this one we have some Willow Lane trim, uh, ephemera pieces, some tassels from the Flourish Collection, a little bird uh, iron-on applique from the Flourish Collection, uh, ephemera pieces, um, two packs of these ephemera pieces. Um, some little embellishment standouts, some puffy stickers, Oof. 
um, sticker sheets. It's got all kinds of different things on them. Um, a bunch of the carousel collection. So I have um, an embellishment pack. I have puffy gold stickers. Two packs of these stickers. Um, ephemera pack. I really like this ephemera pack. This is actually like the third one I have. Um, two packs of enamel stickers. And then I have some open book ephemera. And these are two different. Are they? Nope. Two the same. So some floral open book ephemera. Okay. And then in each one of these drawers, I just have random stuff. So in this top one, I have all of my packaging. Here I have um, just random odds and ends, paper clips, um, binder clips, some little uh, handmade feathers or leaves. I don't really know what you want to call them. Um, extra wink of Stella pens, just odds and ends. Um, here's my um, distressed ink drawer. So I've got some distressed oxide ink. I've got some regular distressed inks. I've got some little distressed ink cubes. Um, some of my daubers, extra foam things, distressed, distressed ink markers. I have some tags back here. And then I also have some clear stamp blocks for my stamping when I'm doing my cards and things. Here um, is a lot of my adhesives. I've slowly started moving things over to my pegboard. Um, now that I have my pegboard system set up, so um, it's also got paper clip, not paper clips, um, clothespins, uh, popsicle sticks, and some chalk that I had left over from my wedding. Down here are all of my stencils and my embossing folders, along with some uh, pens and pencils. Here is all of my envelopes and paper supplies to send out cards and things. So I've got a lot of different stuff in there. Envelopes that I've made, envelopes that I've bought, thank you notes. Um, this drawer is full of my quilling stuff. So I've got um, different boards, I've got different papers, tools, um, a couple trims that do not belong in there. Um, below that, um, I have some odds and ends also. Um, again, I've been slowly moving things around during this organization process. In this drawer, I have all of my, like, specialty papers. So there's my vellum. Um, underneath that is all of my pockets for my, um, pocket letters. I have a acetate, um, pad. Um, and then a bunch of fabric transfers. I have you, what is this? Mixed media paper. Um, tracing paper. Watercolor paper. More watercolor paper. And then some um, calligraphy paper down at the bottom. Okay, and then this very bottom drawer has some um, different bags, some cross stitch stuff. And again, some little more odds and ends. Over here, I have my filing cabinet that just has like all my important papers and things in it. Um, up on top, I have a bunch of um, photo books that I do from um, Groovebook. Um, in this huge accordion file here, where I keep all of my different stamp sets. Um, and I have a lot of stamp sets. So in the front, I have different, like, happy birthday. This is a congrats to the bride and groom. Lettering, kind of lettering things. Um, this one's all in Spanish. Um, here I have more word sentiment type stamps. Um, this one is holiday type stamps. Here are all my sign and says stamp card kit stamps. Um, 
here I have background stamps and different designs. Um, these ones are all stamps that have like dies that go with them. Uh, these ones are just tiny, like uh, what I would like to call my journaling stamps. So there's a calendar, little letters, just um, little like reminder things. Here are my layering stamps, and um, <laughs> I picked these up the other day and realized that when I got home that I'd already had this set. Of course I did. Um, so butterflies and flowers, I'll probably wind up just de-stashing one of these. Um, here I have some stamps that came out of like different magazines that I've gotten. Here um, I, are my mixed media stamps, so it's like postage, music, uh, these cool hearts, and then here I have um, a gorgeous girl stamp that I really like. So um, as my stamp collection grows, I'm going to have to figure out a new system for these as well. Going from here, we have my printer in the corner, um, a bunch of different like watercolor things that I work have been working on. Um, down here, I have some fabrics. I have some mason jars back in that corner that I have plan on doing some projects with, and then just different odds and ends. In this case, I have my scrapbooks and then random newspapers that I plan on making vintage. And then down here is where I keep all of my paper pads. Um, you guys, I have a ridiculous amount of paper pads. Look at this. Like, I have more paper pads than I think I will ever, ever, ever know what to do with. So if we move off these carousel pads up top, you can just see these are all 12 by 12s. And then down here, I have 6 by 6s and I have 6 by 6s stacked on top of 6 by 6s Like, I have a stupid number of paper pads. And then these are all Maggie Holmes paper pads back here, just random paper pads. So we have, like, this is an English Rose Garden, so one before Bloom. We have Gather confetti, another confetti, a close knit, uh, just a Maggie Holmes paper pad, another Maggie Holmes paper pad, the Flourish collection, snow and cocoa, and then we start moving it just, and then if we look down here at the bottom, again, I have just so so many paper pads guys i'm i'm never 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 going to use all of these paper pads and then from here we're gonna move over to here i keep my tv on top with my old school super nintendo when i feel like playing games um and this is a chest my dad's co-worker had actually made for my mom and then my mom wound up not using it so then i took it from her um, in here, I just keep all of my random loose papers, my HTV, and my vinyls. So this top shelf is like my Simon Says stamp papers that I've received in all of my card kits, along with like really nice fancy like washies and um, Japanese papers that I've picked up. Um, this next shelf down is scraps for different projects I've been working on. Um, here I have um, Halloween papers and different paper packs that I've picked up from m Tuesday morning. This one is same thing, but it's Christmas papers. And, ooh, I just realized there's some chipboard in there. Or, nope, ephemera. See, some floral ones. Um, more paper. I get just lots and lots of paper. So, yeah, paper, paper. Here I have some chipboard and then some more paper. 
All right, and then this shelf right here is all of my chipboard. So if you've watched my videos, you've heard me say before that I'm like obsessed with chipboard. And this is all Maggie Holmes chipboard, guys. All right, so look at this. So we have my confetti carousel poolside open book and then those are all like the ones that I'm currently using and then these are all of the extras so then I have another two of the carousel oh, sorry three carousels um more two more pool sides I have a um a flourish this is the willow lane which is super cute um another open book another confetti, and a another carousel. Like I have a ridiculous amount of chipboard. This is my solid colored paper. So this is blacks and whites and blues and things, all solid colors. Here I have some spring pretty um, cut aparts. And then we move into my vinyl. So my vinyl I have broken up in color families. So we have our purples and our blues and our greens and our yellows and our oranges and our reds and then our whites, blacks, silvers, creams down here. And then this shelf is going to be all of my specialty HTV. So we have sparkle HTV, we have metallic HTV, and then this one down here is just my solid colored HTVs. Moving up from there, we go into where I keep my sewing machine and along with um, a lot of my painting supplies. So here I have just pens and pencils and markers, all of my paint brushes of various sizes. Um, this lantern came from a centerpiece at my wedding. I have Halloween decorations that I've yet to put away and then I have my sewing machine. And then around the corner here, I just have different fabrics and boxes and things that I need to figure out what I'm going to do with. I have a bunch of baskets and more boxes and things that I use as um, packing materials, shipping materials. There's a lot of, um, what are they, the um, air pockets that you get from Amazon are sitting inside of that box. A um, bunch of my shoes. <laughs> Um, another box, this one is full of peanuts. Over here, I have different baskets full of things. So I have my knitting supplies back here. I have all of like my mixed media supplies here in the front. So my gesso, uh, modeling paste, texture paste. Um, this is just nuts and bolts. Um, inside this basket here, I have different random odds and ends. So book rings to do tag flips, stickers, glitters, um, little pins, some deco paper. I have some um, filler. And then above that, I have this um, wire rack that I picked up at Tuesday morning. And in it, I have different sequins and washi tapes. I keep all of my crepe paper up top there. Um, there's some pumpkins that I actually probably need to move. A Halloween decoration that I haven't taken down yet. Making our way back around the room, um, we reach my other two pegboards. On this first pegboard here, I have um, some just white HTV um, because I'm in the middle of using that. Um, this board came from one of my swap partners during the Halloween collaboration series I did with Manny's Place. Over here, this is my art journal. So it's just got different random things that I've done. Just fun little one on board. I like to do different art pieces and kind of just play with what I have. So I keep that there. Um, glues, Mod Podge, um, my uh, stuff to remove all of my stickiness. Down here I have more um, things that I've received from swap partners. 
different items. Um, this is a wedding card I received. Here is my mink machine. On this one, I keep my scoreboard and my Tonic Studios stamping pad. All right. Started doing a little bit of fall decorating. Um, down here in the corner, I keep all of my floral stuff for my wreath building. And then down here is where I have my shelving unit. So this shelving unit came, came from, um, let's see. Down here is my shelving units. This shelving unit came from Ikea. When I went to Ikea to go pick up my shelves, I was looking for a two by four and I could not find one in this color. So I wound up just picking up two two by twos and pressing them together. Um, inside here, I keep different packaging stuff. So I have my transfer tape, I have bubble wrap, and then underneath it is all of my different Cricut rolls. So I have glitter rolls. I have vinyl rolls, and then I keep all of my bags in here as well because it's just convenient for my garbage can. Um, but yeah, so I've got strong bond iron on, I've got um, whiteboard stuff, I've got transfer tape. I mean, I've just got a ridiculous amount of different rolls in here. In this next drawer, um, it's just different odds and ends. I haven't really found a place for extra cases for my thing. Same with actually all of these. This one has different package stuff, embellishment boxes, storage, um, different uh, um, stuff that I received from Swap Partners, bags that I can use for loaded bags. And at the end here, oops. And then at the end here, I keep my extra different boards. So I have a box board, I have an envelope board, I have old stamp mats that I used to use before I got my Tonic Studios one, and then my old trimmer, um, again, that I used before I received my We Are Memory Keepers one. Um, this one I still use once in a while. I like that it's small, it's a lot more compact. Alright. And then down here at the bottom, I have, this is where I keep all of my mailing supplies. So I have packaging tape down here. I have bubble mailers. I have flat rate priority envelopes. I have flat rate um, priority mail bags. I just have different envelopes that I use mostly for making like envelope flip books. Um, down in this one, I keep all of my different painting supplies. So I have my watercolor paint set, um, a watercolor card that I received in one of my service of stamp kits. Um, these are my palettes. So I have metallic watercolors, um, and then these are separated out in made by colors. Um, different canvases. So this is a flat canvas I received in a pack. These are eight by tens. And then in this box, I keep all of my acrylics. There's more acrylics down here in this box. Oops. Okay. Let's see. And then over here, I have um, a couple boxes. This has different embellishments, um, all kinds of different letters, and then just um, threads. And then this is the same thing, but it's got the other half of the alphabet. Um, this case down here has all of my stickers in it. Um, I have a stupid amount of stickers. So this has them all just broken up into different, I have them split up in different categories inside. I have word pads, um, just in a ridiculous amount of stickers inside of this right here. And then here I have these different coloring books. And then at the end, I have all of my inks that I use. I would like to find a better way to store these. So that's going to be one of my next projects. I'll probably build some kind of shelf to stick all of these in. And then underneath it, I have um, more bags and toilet paper, or not toilet paper rolls. Um, all of the tubing from various cricket rolls and HTV rolls and things. 
that I will use for products. Alright, and then And then over here I have my sh top shelving. So if you look, you can see I have the two by four on the bottom with the pegboards in between and then up above I have this one by four shelving that I've hung. Um, up on top I use it as kind of a storage. So I have my 16 by 20 canvases. I have a Christmas basket, some um, a box I would, I'll use probably for a swap or something later. Um, my nameplate from when I was in college and I worked in the office. Um, and then underneath is where I keep all of my clear bins. Now in each one of these bins, I have them broken up into themes. So for example, all of my Halloween stuff. So inside of this, I have, I mean, there's just layers. I have my oil pastels. I have piping, paper pads, stickers, napkins, I'm, I mean just everything that has to do with Halloween in any way, shape, or form is inside of that one. And then underneath the Halloween one, I keep all of my fall stuff. And then same thing, I've got um, pumpkins and I've got like paper pads in here. There's embellishments and like gift bags, um, just different things that all fit into like a fall theme. And then next to that, I keep my binder full of pocket letters that I've received from different swap partners. So those are really fun and cute. Next to these bins, I have a bunch of just like random odds and ends, what I call like my more girly stuff. Things that fall a lot in like the pinks and the blues, pastel families. Below that, I keep my Christmas stuff. Um, next to that are just some old school Pentel arts markers. Um, some gel pens. Here I have some collage paper by Tim Holtz. Probably shouldn't have done that. Well, we'll have to do it like that for right now. <laughs> um, next to that, in this box, is all of my scraps. So this is just full of just different scrap paper whenever I feel like making embellishments or something. This is the box I pull out. Um, in here I have trims and tools and different ribbons. And below that I have all of my sequins. And then in this last one is um, just a couple empty bins. This top bin is currently holding a couple canvas flip books I picked up on Tuesday morning. This bottom one is completely empty. And then um, there's some gift bags that are just kind of lined up. All right. So then down here, I have a bunch of random stuff. So this is stuff that I'm getting ready to do in a haul video in a little bit. Down here I have a bunch of wine bottles that I plan on um, pulling the labels off and decorating. In the back I have some polyfill. Here I have some large flat rate chip boxes. Um, in here I keep all of my eyelets and my crocodile. Um, here's random pictures. This one here is where I keep my heat gun. Um, this is a drill bit set, and then this is where I keep all of my die cuts currently. So I need to find a better system for my die cuts because right now they literally just sit in this basket and then I have to flip through each one individually to figure out which die cut it is that I want to use at that moment. And then the very bottom is where I keep all of my punches. All right, so that is my craft room. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I had to show you. Um, it is still a work in progress, and as I move along and I 
um, add more things into my craft space and I come up with different organization techniques and ways that I um, put everything together, I will make videos on those as well and share them with everybody. So please um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you liked. Um, let me know if I gave you any ideas for different ways to store things. And until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.